it's that time of the year again, sis. The Nordstrom anniversary sale is here. I'm about to spill the tea on everything you need, plus the best of the best from the sale. So if that's why you click sis, keep on watching. If you're new here, it's, this is going to be my eighth year covering this sale. I know, mind blown. <laughs> At this point, it's kind of like an annual tradition. If you are returning, go ahead and shout yourself out in the comments down below. So I did film this video a little bit different. It's kind of like vlog style. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how today's video is going to go, what we're going to cover. I'm going to do an intro slash brief overview for those who are new to the sale. Um, we're going to discuss tips and tricks on how to shop the sale. Of course, the try on portion, which I know so many of you are here for slash review. And then we're also going to discuss the giveaway because I do do an annual giveaway for this sale. So make sure you stay tuned all through to the end of the video so you don't miss any of the gems. And I'm going to include timestamps as well in this video so it's super easy for you to navigate. So as I said, this video is gonna be vlog style because in order for me to get this video out to you guys ASAP and get all the other things I have on my to-do list for today, we're gonna have to film this video this way. All right, so the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I put up a poll on um, the community page and so many of you are like, Nordstrom anniversary sale, what is that? Well, basically the Nordstrom anniversary sale is kind of like a reverse sale if you, most of you know how regular sales work. At the end of the season, retailers, brands discount things that have not been sold because they're just trying to clear their inventory. The Nordstrom anniversary sale is a little bit different because you are able to shop next season pieces at discounted prices they sometimes will have some summer things but mostly the sale on the fashion side really um, covers more fall and winter pieces so coats jackets boots all those like wardrobe staples and essentials um, but the sale actually has a lot more than that and they also have men's and women's apparel they have shoes bags accessories watches they also have kids apparel and kids like must-haves and then finally they also have beauty the bougie beauty that you love they have it in the sale and you know this is a little known secret but I personally think that the discounts that you get at the Nordstrom anniversary sale is way better than the discounts you get at Sephora in my opinion. The way the Nordstrom anniversary sale works is that it's actually a members perk if you want to say so card members get to shop this sale first this year I believe the sale went live for card members at um, July 7th it is kind of like a tiered situation so the more money you spent the earlier your access is by July 9 it was available to all Nordstrom card holders so for the future if you're interested in the sale definitely worthwhile getting a credit card because you get to shop the sale first now as of today July July 15th the sale has gone public so anybody can shop the sale whether you have a card or you do not have a card you can shop the sale and I believe the sale runs until the end of the month so if you want details on like makeup products etc etc I will go ahead and link a, either a reel or a YouTube video that's like a makeup video <laughs> now that we have the full tea and what the Nordstrom sale is let me just quickly go over like why I started shopping the sale and what I get from the sale so I started the shopping the sale probably like eight nine years Years ago um, because I was a school teacher some of you who aren't new here already you know I used to be an educator at that point I was trying to refresh my wardrobe and I had learned that I really wanted to invest in pieces that will last me that would wear well now good quality clothing especially for women these days is very expensive right and so the Nordstrom sale really allowed me to invest in these quality pieces and, and while paying for them incrementally so like all of those things that I invested in I still have all those pieces all right so let's jump into the try on the reviews and I will talk a little bit more about tips and tricks towards the end of the video make sure to keep on watching so you don't miss the tea on how, how to enter the giveaway And I blame this bomber jacket purchase on politics and fashion here on YouTube. She did a video where she was talking about like classic styles or something along those lines and she talked about how important finding a good bomber jacket is. And if you know me, you know I am a jacket slore, okay? 
<laughs> because it's just like the perfect third piece is the perfect piece that you add to your wardrobe that finishes up the look and makes your look look style so I am always buying jackets and coats and I'm always looking for quality jackets and coats because I personally find that jackets and coats tend to be um, a little bit more classic you tend to get your cost per wear out of them and they I would say they stay on trend a lot longer right even when they're technically out of trend out of style they're not really out of style if that makes any sense anyways I saw that they had a bomber jacket I saw that it came in plus and what did I do I did not walk I ran okay I love this neutral kind of like oatmeal color it has white details like so it has brushed buttons it's just like a really sleek understated dated style you can easily pair this with a zillion things shorts jeans you can pair this with something girly to maybe tone it down a little bit um, but you can also pair this with something that you want to go a little bit sporty on this is also a great transitional jacket so it's unlined FYI which is why I say it's a great transitional jacket so you're not gonna be you know sweltering in this there's no patches there's no anything so technically you could even wear this to work you know instead of doing a blazer you could do something like that and some slacks and it would still work in, in an environment like that three wise y'all <laughs> first of all Nordstrom don't play with the quality like then that's just that's on period I'm gonna give this an eight and a half nine I really should be giving it a ten but I'm just one of them teachers who never gave them who rarely gave tens um because i haven't watched it but just based on what i know about nordstrom i know that this will last me a long time this moto jacket right here y'all what this was definitely a, a gamble because it goes up to a size 14 i picked this up from the top shop range it's supposed to be like an oversized crop jacket y'all this jacket was made for me okay hopefully it was made for you too so it features like standard lapels like so buttons it has a zipper closure and um pockets as well a side pocket a pocket right here it also has this belt thing that some people love and some people hate i personally like it because i feel like it gives that traditional moto jacket style which to me looks very expensive and this is of course a faux leather when you come when it comes to the weight of this i would say this is kind of like a mid weight so this will also be great for the transitional season yep i always have a hard time with jackets and they them fitting my arms this fit my arms perfectly i also have a thing for lighter colored moto jackets for whatever reason definitely invest in a black if you don't already have one but if you have a black moto jacket then girl grab yourself a, a lighter color neutral i love all white in the fall and winter and you can definitely do this do it with a jacket like this this is like the perfect cropped length on me okay if you love wearing like wide leg pants and styles like that you would love this as well this will also look super chic with like a bodycon dress or a midi skirt etc etc please look at the outerwear section at the sale because it never fails usually if it tells you oh if it's like a 16 18 because Nordstrom will give you some details on the outfits they'll usually tell you if something fits true to size all my arms are like size 20 and they fit that so if you're around my size okay hop on that <laughs> all right hop on that so the next item I picked up is going to be this knitted vest from BP. I actually got it in the size 4XL because I was hoping it would be long enough for me to wear as a dress. It does fit comfortably width wise but if you're around my size however if you are as tall as me I'm 5'7 it's gonna be a little too short to be a dress. I would say if you're around 5'5, five, 5'4 five, five, girl you need to get this the BP line is kind of like the young adult line at Nordstrom I think this is a great buy because it's very multifunctional you can wear it as a dress like I said if you're shorter than me with some over-the-knee boots or even some combat boots with like a crew neck um long sleeve or a button down where it opened where it closed wear it as a dress and I also like pieces like this because if I'm wearing something like a little bit tight give you some additional security and kind of skim your body instead of like showing it all off quality on this I would give this an eight 
probably even a 9 out of 10. It's made pretty well. It is, does have some weight to it, but it's not like extremely heavy. And I like the Argyle details, right? And again, this type of piece is very much a classic silhouette. So it's not something that will, you know, go out of style soon. So you're going to get your cost per wear for a piece like this. A piece like this would be great to transition from summer into fall because it's sleeveless, you know, but you could pair it with something like a mini skirt or some shorts etc etc so I've been really into wide leg pants and I definitely feel like it's a trend that is still gonna be going strong in the fall and winter and this is basically like a plaid size check print a very classic print I got this in a size 2x the waist is a little bit big for me but it does have an elasticized waist it also has belt loops so you can also rock this with a belt as well it has pleating in front which is ultra flattering if you have a little bit of a belly if you have a little bit of a pooch so I feel like I need to size up in this even though the waist has a ton of room but it hugs me in the BLT area and that kind of like gives me camel toe, highlights the muffin top. As a tallish short girl, I would say the length is perfect if you're like 5'6 or so. You can still pair it with a heel. If you are a taller girl, I just want you to bear in mind that it may come up a little bit shorter on you. Overall, if you're looking to add some pieces, some workwear pieces, they can also work for the weekend as well. I would recommend this. It has a matching blazer as well. What I like about the way fashion is going these days is that you can actually dress a piece like this down and pair this with some sneakers for like a cool girl look. But you know, if you work in an office, you can easily dress this up as well with some pumps, with some heels. So let's talk basics. Um, like I said, one of the reasons why I started shopping the Nordstrom sale was for the basics and I went ahead and picked up two must-haves basics for the fall and winter season. It's going to be a crew neck long sleeve sort of like ribbed tee. This is from the Halogen brand. Y'all, I... I always stock upon basics and wardrobe essentials in Nordstrom sale because it's discounted number one and over years and years of using these pieces I know that the quality you get your cost per wear they last okay when you put them in the washer also they're tissue thin which means if you like layering like I do but don't like the bulk you will love these they're extremely soft okay extremely soft extremely stretchy so you could even like size down if you would like on these year after year <laughs> year after year i say purchasing nordstrom brand basics so from the kazlan t-shirts to halogen long sleeve crew necks those are the places in my opinion where if you're on a tight budget and you don't know what to spend on definitely invest in some of these basics i always get them in a size extra extra large and um it's made out of 95 percent tensile and five percent spandex that's what gives it that comfort that stretch somehow while i was filming this i completely forgot to mention this dress this is actually a little bit on the shorter side Aside from that, everything fits really well. It's really stretchy. Probably could have gone down a size, but I think it's a good size because nothing is really clingy. I'm wearing it here in a size 2X. It features ruching around the bust and buttons that open. I styled it here with a pair of sneakers and a shacket to kind of like bring out the green and the teal, but you could also easily style this with ankle boots or over the knee boots when things get cooler. The next item I picked up is going to be this Kirk Geiger clutch. Honestly, this Kirk Geiger crossbody, it was the chains that, for me, like the chains on this is super heavy, super cute. But the good thing about this bag is that it's actually small. So, <laughs> like, you know, it won't weigh you down because it's a small bag. There's only so much you can put in it. Um, the quality on the chains is just like impeccable. But I absolutely love 
the details on this. It's, it's made out of this croc material and um, it opens up with two little buttons right here so it's very secure in closing. Super easy soft close and then on the inside it has two compartments so one for like your wallet and things like that card holder etc etc and it also has a dust bag included a bag like this is great because you can wear this like if you're someone who doesn't like big bags we dress this up or dress this down so you can wear this for every day if you would like and you guys have seen me style it multiple ways I like the fact that the the hardware although it's a statement it's also understated because it blends really well and this color is very much a neutral now when I last checked it y'all this bag had sold out so but here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna link the bag because things always come in and out of stock because people buy stuff at the beginning of the sale specifically the card holders and then they get it and they return it so if you really like this bag I'm gonna link it for you down below and if you have the like to know it app you can always save this bag on there as well and then you can go back and check you know periodically to see if the bag has come back in stock they do have some other kurt geiger bags in the sale as well so i'm gonna link to those so if you're enjoying the video so far and you've added a few goodies to your cart hit that like button this is also a great time to share this video with your friends but you may not know it somebody you know may be looking for this exact video so I told y'all I would give y'all the tea. Okay, the tea cup. Okay, <laughs> what am I saying? Anyway, I told y'all I would give you the tea on the wide calf boots included in the sale because finally, brands are starting to realize we exist. People that have wide calves, people that wear size 11, 12, 13. Okay, I think they only went up to a size 12. So when I saw this on the site, y'all, the way I ran and did not walk, the way I added these things to cart, okay? Um, I did not even care. Okay, I ran and got these. So I picked up these um, cream suede boots. This comes in four colors. This shoe has this really cool detail around the leg, as you can see. What I really like about a shoe like this is that the heel is walkable. So it's not like super high, but also gives you some height and a little bit of sex appeal. It has zippers going from top to bottom. It also has a little bit of, you know, extra space right here if you need it I got a size 12 medium right all the details it's also very light boot all the accoutrements okay I had my all white fit ready to go with this boot so if you're like me and you were looking at that wide width wondering if it was gonna fit if it was hitting y'all it did not hit it did not fit <laughs> I, you know, I got like the zipper up halfway through my leg. The shoe is medium width itself, so it was quite snug on my wide feet. Okay, girl, even though I sized up to a size 12 and I'm a size 11, it did not go, it did not fit. Okay, I, just in case you saw a wide width and was like, yes, they finally heard us. I'm sad, I'm sad, okay. I picked up these boots as well. They're kind of like a cowboy style boot, as you can see. Like so, super pointy toe. I love a pointy toe girl. So this is what it looks like in the front. It has that little dip in the front and the back. And it zipped all the way from top to bottom. Okay, all of the things that I freaking love. I was super excited for these boots. I had all these plans, I plan to pair them with some leather shorts that I also picked up from Nordstrom because they had a pair of leather shorts in the sale, but it sold out, so I got another pair of leather shorts. Anyways, I digress, right? I had this whole outfit in my mind. I was excited. I was, mm, -mm. Girl, it did not fit either. <laughs> it did not fit either. It did not fit either. Quality-wise, though, I would give this a nine and a half. Okay, the suede is suading. Okay, very soft and nice. The quality is qualitying. I would definitely buy like a suede protectant for this. I would say this is a non plus size person's wide calf. So continuing on with the non fashion related things that I picked up y'all. 
I talked about it in the beginning of this video, but this sale is the perfect time for you to stock up on your, your bougie beauty favorites. If you love Necessaire like I do, they always sell this duo, okay? And I picked up not one, not two. I think I picked up three, if not four of these because if you like Necessaire, you know how much it runs you. And this is giving you two of the pieces for $35, which is way less than it would cost if you bought both pieces. This this also makes a great gift. Okay, so if you have some friends who are into Bougie Beauty, I mix this with the Kiehl's Dry Body Oil and <laughs> your body will be going. Your body will be going. But these products are basically facial grade products. Okay. Okay, for your body so that's why they cost a little bit more oh I also picked up my favorite sunscreen super goop which is the play sunscreen okay they actually had a duo that sold out it was like the giant bottle of play and like a little travel size one and I had it in my car and it sold out so they have a bunch of super goop um, products as well so if you like super goop check it out hopefully <laughs> hopefully it's not sold out as well so products like that you know that cost a little bit more you're getting to you know you're getting to re-up on them in bulk for less let's talk about <laughs> tips and tricks for shopping the sales. One big tip I wanna give you for shopping the sale is if something is still in stock, I'm gonna say it again, if something is still in stock, even if it's not the right color or your size, go ahead and grab it. Because what happens is that people just, people that shop, start shopping the sale super early, return things, okay, things come back in stock later on after the sale. And see is if you got it at that price, Nordstrom will honor it. So even if they only have a size eight and you're size 11 go ahead obviously you have to you have to you know keep keep checking the site to see if stuff comes back in stock in your size but go ahead why because Nordstrom has the craziest return policy if you're new to this of course if you're an OD you already know how Nordstrom works but they have the craziest return policy it's non-existent okay if you're a card holder Oh, all you gotta do is just pull up your account. I have returned things nine months later. Okay, if I bought something and I just never wore it, I'm like, why should I keep it? I've gone to return it and they've accepted it. If you're not a card holder, I would suggest just keeping your receipt. Um, but you can just buy with confidence knowing that if you need to return it, you can. No worries, no issues. Like I've never had an issue returning anything. I've heard stories of people returning stuff they've worn. I'm not saying you should do that okay but like I've never had issues returning anything at Nordstrom so just letting you know FYI okay and then also they also have one of the most generous as well shipping policies i.e. that you could buy anything on the site and they'll ship it for free anything if you only want one thing you can shop for one thing and there is no minimum you can buy anything on the site I repeat that you can buy anything a lipstick a mascara a t-shirt anything on the site and they will ship it for you for free. So my strategy is to go for those things that I know will sell out really quickly, like the Moonlight Pajamas always sell out every year. Um, those basics always sell out every year. If you like Barefoot Dream stuff, it's in the sale. It always sells out every year. And then I'll go back and look again to see. Like right now, I saw a couple of things that I wanted. Um, the, there's a good American jumpsuit that I've been wanting for years that's actually included in the sale. So, you know, I got that on my radar. And there are a couple other things that I've seen that I'm like, ooh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna include all these additional things that I didn't really talk about in this video in the blog post that's coming on Monday. And I, I may update that blog post one more time before the sale ends as well because it's just like, a treasure trove okay and it can be overwhelming <laughs> because there's so many categories there's so much that's on sales <laughs> We're gonna jump into the must-have categories to check out in the sale. And the first category, of course, is gonna be fashion, but specifically um, closet basics and staples. Work separates, so slacks, skirts, 
um, pieces like that and then we're gonna move on over to like footwear and accessories specifically footwear so um, leather boots nice leather flats for work that's also gonna be in the sale jackets so blazers it's also gonna be in the sale my favorite black blazer I scored from the sale like two years ago and was from good American they have a similar blazer back in the sale this year so I'll link that for you as well so let's continue on speaking with clothes foundation is okay for my curvy girls Spanx okay is actually included in the sale definitely go ahead and grab yourself if you're needing to re-up um, for my busty girls Alomi is in the sale okay if you've ever tried Alomi bras you know that they are made from girls who are full of breasted okay they have several styles included in the sale now on to bougie beauty if you like brands like Tula if you like brands like Kiehl's if you like brands like Estee Lauder you know scents are, are always in the sale if you wanted to try YSL Libre they have it they have it in the sale this year flower bomb is typically in the sale as well so if you like Victorian Wolf it's in the sale Joe Malone is always in the sale if you like nice scents you like your home to smell bougie deep teak is always in the sale as well First of all, if you made it this far, give yourself a pat on the back. It's super simple. The giveaway will go live on Monday on the blog, SuppleSheet.com. It'll have all of the details on how to enter. I'm going to tell you right now that you have to be subscribed to the YouTube channel. You have to like this video. And most importantly, you have to leave a comment related to any of the prompts in this video. All the details about this giveaway will be in the description box down below. There will be a direct link updated in the description box down below that will take you directly to the blog post. Only enter the giveaway if you really want to enter the giveaway. I'm not going to email you or spam you or do anything. I just want to be able to get in contact with you. So please use an email that, um, that we can contact you with. Okay, so typically I usually give away one gift card, but but this year I'm doing it a little bit differently because I want to give more back to you guys because you guys have been so awesome and so supportive. So if we can get this video, okay, to 5,000 views in the next 72 hours, I'm giving away two $75 gift cards. If you want more details on the Nordstrom anniversary sale, I have a Nordstrom anniversary sale playlist. You can check it out here, okay? If you want to see all the past things that I've purchased, you can also check out this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.